Backside. Here we go. As Russell Crowe on the front row. Greg Davis out of Dallas. Alongside six lap dash. We're ready to go. And Russell Crowe put the old red and white Thunderbird. To the point, down in turn number one and number two. Remember, a six-lap dash. This will determine the inside starting row spots for our feature event here tonight at Dixie Speedway in our economy bomber category. So far, so good. As the 87 car, Scott Pilcher out of Kingston, Georgia, getting way out of shape, coming off turn number four, number 92, Sammy Ballard. Sammy Ballard in the number 92 car. Let's go. Sprint car drivers, six car dash. Let's get them rolling. We are awaiting you. Okay, Bobby Foster, would you meet your party at the stairs to the step? Bobby Foster as Greg Davis out of Dallas, Georgia, the Dallas Collision Car, jumping out in front as they head down off turn number two, down on the back straightaway. Michael Brewer putting the number 22 car through his paces, and Greg Davis got, a, got his hands full of steering wheel as he heads off turn number four and down the front chute, bringing the youngster Michael Brewer with him as they're down in turn number one and number two. And caution coming out. Sprint cars, your dash coming up next. Sprint cars, your dash coming up. Down the back side is John Williams, Russell Crowe. Ford and Chevrolet, the old battle that'll never die as they battle it out coming off turn number four as Michael Brewer and Craig Davis battling it out down in turn number one and number two and down on the back straightaway. They're glued as one as they head into turn number three. Caution going to come out for the number seven car. That is Paul Justice. I don't know if he caught him off guard or not, but he caught me off guard as Greg Davis. White flag coming out. Hey, six laps, it doesn't take long. As they head her down off turn number two, Greg Davis gets a little bit out of shape coming off the corner. Brewer going up on the high side. Folks, it's a dash. Who's going to start on the front row? It's going to be Greg Davis. Michael Brewer, John Williams, Russell Crowe, and Steve Gwynn rounding out the top five. And Greg Davis here to DC Speedway. It's been there Saturday night. We're thankful for that. John Binger. And John Young out of Canton, Georgia, leading them off turn number four. Oh, yeah. Looks like somebody kind of lost a handle a bit. That's the number 97 car. Or 37, rather. That's uh, Charles Williams out of Stockbridge, Georgia. And John Binger. And here comes John Young. Hey, how about the United Sprint Car Series? Gentlemen, hey, your six-lap dash coming up next. Then we're going to the Super Bombers. Super Bombers in the pit. Gentlemen, get them in the staging lanes. Super Bombers in the pit. Get them into the staging lanes. Let's get them rolling. Super Bombers in the pit, gentlemen. Let's get them into the staging lane, followed by the late models as everybody. Wheeling and dealing down in turn number four. John Binger halfway home as we get the sprint cars lined up. And Ray McNeese out of Waleska, Georgia, the number 74 car of Josh Darnell out of Austell, Georgia, having their problems as the caution flag coming up.
Super Bombers in the pit area. Super Bombers in the pit, gentlemen. Let's get those cars into the staging lane as the battle continuing on down on the back straightaway as John Binger in the number nine car continuing to show everybody how it's done as they head across the start finish line. White flag coming down for John Binger. And Binger coming into turn number three and number four, and he's going to take the checkered flag. And he'll start on the front row alongside Greg Davis out of Dallas, Georgia, for our feature event. Super Bombers in the pit area. Super Bombers in the pit. Gentlemen, I need those. Oh, yeah, I see some of our little checkered flags down there. Well, man, I tell you what, next Saturday night is back to school night here at Dixie Speedway. Bicycle racing from the kids from Ryan's Family Steakhouse. And guess what? Admission only $7. So next Saturday night, drill admission in the grandstand seating area, only $7. Hey, we're going to have a big time next Saturday night. Back to school night for the kids and mamas and daddies are going to be screaming and shouting and we're going to green down on the back side goes Brewer finger got some problems as he heads into turn number three and number four he's in about the fifth position as he heads across the start finish line right behind Russell Crow. But Michael Brewer, the youngster out of Avondale Estates, putting her together here tonight at Dixie Speedway. Late models to stage, guys and gals, I need you. Loses it down in a corner and caution coming out. Somebody just clipped of uh, the front end of John Binger in the number nine car. And we got a little bit of a hot flash down there in the corner. As our fire crew is making its way down there. Driver is out of the car. Good work by David Waltrip out of Little River Record Service pulling those drivers out of the race car. Looks like Binger, uh, his foot may be a little bit of uh, a... Okay, so the field now getting ready to go one more time is Michael Brewer. Adam Avondale Estates calling the shots as he heads off turn number two. And looks like a little bit of tire smoke coming out of... Uh, Larry Bryant's Brian McWhorter, attorney at Law Car. As the late models down in the staging lanes, they are ready. Caution coming out. We got one up against the retaining wall down there in uh, turn number four. And that is. Number 93 car, second generation driver as a youngster. Going to try to catch up to the field. And, hey, we're going back to green him. Hey, look at Donald Murdoch. Donald Murdoch, John Williams. Look at the 08 car. Everybody going at it down on the back straightaway. Robbie Land in the 08 car hanging on to that uh, number four spot. As Tom Darby out of Oleska, Georgia, trying to move on up the ladder, but 
Somebody ran over David Walter of Orange Pylon. Leslie Price in the number 28 car, jockeying four positions in the back of the pack. But here we go. One more time as everybody beating and banging on one another. A lot of smoke coming out of the Larry Bryant number four car and the number 57 car way off the pace. He's going to pull her into the pit area. Don't know exactly what happened, but hey, nonetheless, looks like his night going to be over. like caution coming out as Larry Bryant looping it down here on the front straightaway and uh, not a... understand they've got a Carl Black in Nashville Tennessee Music City USA Battle for the lead is Donald Murdoch in the number 95 going after the youngster Michael Brewer as they battle down on the bottom end of the racetrack. Russell Crowe in that number nine continuing to amaze everybody in that that old Ford, I guess you could say. Man, he's been running that race car for nearly 20 years, I guess. And it just keeps getting better and better as he heads into turn number one and number two. But looks like Murdoch showing everybody how it's done on the back straightaway. And Brewer, I don't know. I think he might have drove the wheels off a little bit too hard. And somebody is heading backwards, and that's not a good sign. Here we go as Marvin Ford distinguishing out the white flag. One lap to go. And something going to miss with Robbie Land. As Tom Darby moves up into that third spot. But uh, Donald Murdoch looks to be the man down on the back straightaway. And Murdoch taking the checkers. Tom Darby, Robbie Land, Scott Pilcher, and Russell Crowe. As Michael Brewer. Got the white flag, one lap to go. And something going to miss with Robbie Land. As Tom Darby moves up into that third spot. But uh, Donald Murdoch looks to be the man down on the back straightaway. And Murdoch taking the checkers. Tom Darby.